Hey guys, I'm Steven here with Team Covenant with uh, a good friend and local Tulsa player, Jacob Kern. Yes. Probably seen it. You've been in some videos, haven't you? Uh, I've been in a few videos. Ones, yeah. yeah, sure. So, as you know, Phoenix Fight announced the draft format for Thrones uh, as well as Netrunner. Jacob, you've never done like a collectible card game before. You've never drafted before. Yes, this is my first game. So my you, first draft. you you tried the draft format, and coming into this totally blind, what are your what are your thoughts on draft? Like, what's the, uh, what do I you... was I was super skeptical when I first heard about it. I'll be honest with you. I thought it was just gonna be like another way to sell cards that we wouldn't be able to use in the game. And then I found out that hey, you can use these cards as long as they're not you know the unreleased ones, which is another interesting bit about it. I got to see some cards that aren't out yet. Um, and I think that's going to be something that's going to keep people excited about it. Um, the biggest thing that I noticed about draft format was that new and old players are both in it just as much. So yeah. you're not going to get new players coming in that have half the card pool that everyone else does and just comes in with something that can't match up. So I think it's going to really like help get people into the game. Kind of evening the playing field, basically. Absolutely. Where the yeah. new players and the old players can and get together. And then you together. have to keep the, the cards that you, yeah. that you draft. So, and I've already got a Street of Sisters out of the game. Nice. Dude, good. that's worth like 20 bucks. Yeah. <laughs> that's great. So what's the, uh, what kind of strategies did you notice as you were drafting? Like things I, that you would do different, things that you did well? I think what I did well was taking that crazy guy that's plus strength for all the Rose The fanatical follower, man. Fanatical follower, man. Like, as soon as I saw him in my draft, I was like, one cost, like, you know, big strength, no like, I've got to get that. I yeah. ended up drafting three of them. I don't know why people didn't grab them. Yeah. You know, but I was really going for just low cost stuff. Uh, I got an Iron Mines pretty early, and so oh, I was like, nice. I'm going to do Greyjoy, I think. And I already had some Barrack cards, so I ended up doing Barrack Greyjoy. You always end up with some stuff you don't want. I mean, yeah. I had some Martells, some Tar cards that I just couldn't use. Um, but, you know, that's just sort of the nature of, of the draft. You know? Yeah. Did you engage in any uh, what's called hate drafting, where you just took cards so no one else could have them? Did you do that, definitely, that definitely started to happen. Uh, I think some of the, the older players that have played more than just Thrones and stuff and had done a lot of drafts and stuff were... Uh, really like angling to just like take that out of the way like if they thought what house you're running from what you said they would take that card that yeah you know, like burning on sands or whatever it was if they knew you were Marcel and uh, and I did that a couple times to myself nice. <laughs> so uh, you play the draft you experience the format you learn some things would you say that this is a thing that you would want to do again like this is a fun thing that you yeah would... absolutely I'd say that it's um, it's different, but I, again, I like that we can still use these cards in the game and can take them home with us. Uh, it's not just like, you know, uh, a mini, like, board game version or something where you can just, you yeah. know, it's separate. It's, it's not. You can still play them together, and I, and I really appreciated that. I really think it would you know, make it worth it and have some value to do, uh, to do another draft. So, All right, sweet. Well, we'll do some draft tournaments in Tulsa and, and see what there. happens, right? I'll be there. <laughs> All right, thanks guys for watching, and uh, we've been hearing a lot about these drafts, and all the all the feedback is super positive um, from the old CCGers who missed the draft format to the new players who are going to experience it for the first time. Seems like a big win uh, for Fantasy Flight and these communities. So, thank you Fantasy Flight for the draft format, and thank you guys for watching. We'll catch you next time.